ever wondered what BGP routing protocol is and why it's so important? Welcome to the world of Border Gateway Protocol, or as we call it, BGP. It's not just another acronym in the tech world, but a key player in how the internet functions. Imagine the internet as a vast, bustling city. Now, this city needs an effective traffic system, right? That's where BGP comes in. It's like the traffic controller of the digital city that is the internet. It guides the data or traffic to ensure it reaches the right destination through the most efficient route. But what makes BGP so unique? It's all about the flexibility and control it offers. BGP doesn't just find any route, it finds the best one based on a range of parameters. This makes it a critical component of the internet's backbone, helping connect different networks or autonomous systems across the globe. BGP isn't just about directing traffic within a network, it also works between networks. For instance, when you send an email, the data doesn't teleport from your device to the recipients, it travels across multiple networks, and BGP is the protocol that guides this journey. Now, you might be thinking, that sounds complex, but don't worry, it's not as daunting as it seems. Think of BGP as a skilled diplomat. It negotiates routes between different networks, ensuring smooth and efficient data transfer. And the best part? It does all this while maintaining the independence and privacy of each network. That's the beauty of BGP. It's a protocol that values both efficiency and autonomy, balancing the need for fast, reliable data transfer with respect for the sovereignty of individual networks. So, now that we have a basic understanding of what BGP is, let's dive deeper into its workings. We'll explore how it manages to maintain this delicate balance and why it stands out from other routing protocols. Buckle up for an exciting journey into the backbone of the internet. BGP has two flavors, eBGP and IBGP. But what exactly are they? Let's start with eBGP, or External Border Gateway Protocol. As the name suggests, eBGP is all about external communication. It's like the diplomatic envoy of a country, handling relationships with foreign nations. eBGP is used for routing between different organizations or autonomous systems, each with their own network infrastructure and policies. It's the protocol that internet service providers use to exchange routing information over the internet. Now, let's hop onto the other side of the fence and explore IBGP, short for Internal Border Gateway Protocol. IBGP takes care of internal affairs, functioning like the government of a country, controlling and maintaining order within its borders. IBGP is used within the same organization or autonomous system, allowing routers to exchange routing information internally. This is crucial because, unlike other routing protocols, BGP doesn't automatically share all routes with all routers. IBGP ensures that all routers within an autonomous system know about the best paths to external networks. So, in essence, eBGP and IBGP might seem like two sides of a coin, but they play very different roles. eBGP is the external face, the ambassador that communicates with the world outside, sharing and receiving updates about network paths. On the other hand, IBGP is the internal mechanism, ensuring that these updates are effectively disseminated within the network, maintaining consistency and effectiveness. Though eBGP and IBGP operate in different arenas, they are not isolated. They work together like gears in a well-oiled machine, each playing a vital role in maintaining the overall stability and efficiency of the network. eBGP and IBGP, though different, work hand-in-hand to ensure seamless internet connectivity. By understanding their functions and differences, we can better appreciate the complex ballet of network routing that keeps our digital world spinning. BGP isn't magic, though it might seem like it. So how does it work? Well, let's unpack this. In the digital world of networks, BGP, or Border Gateway Protocol, is the postal service. It doesn't transport the data packets, but guides them to their destination. But the question is, how does it do so efficiently? The first thing to understand is that BGP is a path vector protocol. This means it doesn't just share information about whether a network is reachable, but also the path to get there. 
The process starts with establishing a BGP session. This is like two postal workers agreeing to communicate. They use a protocol called TCP or Transmission Control Protocol to ensure their messages arrive reliably. Once the session is established, the two routers, or BGP speakers as they're often called, exchange their entire BGP routing tables. These tables are like directories of all the known networks and the best paths to reach them. Now, it's important to note that BGP doesn't continuously share updates. Instead, it only sends updates when something changes. A new path is learned, an existing path changes, or a path is no longer available. This approach, known as incremental updates, is one of the reasons why BGP is so efficient. BGP also ensures the reliability of the information it shares. Each BGP speaker verifies the information it receives from its peers before passing it on. This validation process prevents the spread of incorrect information. And what about maintaining the BGP session? Well, BGP speakers periodically send keeper leave messages to each other. These messages are like a friendly wave between postal workers saying, I'm still here and I'm still ready to pass on any mail. So that's how BGP works, in a nutshell. It's a complex dance of establishing sessions, exchanging routing information, validating that information, and maintaining the session. But this dance ensures that data packets find their way through the vast labyrinth of networks that make up the internet. BGP, though complex, is a reliable and efficient way of exchanging routing information. BGP makes decisions based on certain attributes. Let's understand what these attributes are. In the world of BGP, or Border Gateway Protocol, there's a plethora of attributes that come into play. Attributes are essentially the parameters BGP uses to determine the best path for data transmission. With these, BGP becomes an informed decision maker, selecting the most efficient routes based on a variety of factors. First off, we have weight. This is a Cisco-defined attribute, and it's local to the router. The path with the highest weight is preferred. Next is local preference. This attribute indicates the preferred path within an autonomous system. And just like weight, a higher local preference is more desirable than we have locally originated. This attribute prefers paths that are locally originated via a network or aggregate BGP subcommand or through redistribution from an IGP. Next in line is ASPATH. This is a well-known mandatory attribute. It records the autonomous system's path that the route has passed through. A shorter AS path is generally preferred over a longer one. MED, or multi-exit discriminator, is an optional non-transitive attribute that suggests the preferred path into an autonomous system. A lower MED is more desirable. Origin is a well-known mandatory attribute that indicates how BGP learned the path. Paths with lower origin types are preferred, with IGP being lower than EGP and EGP being lower than incomplete. Lastly, we have router ID. If all else is equal, the path with the lowest router ID is chosen. This ID is the IP address of the router that first originated the path into BGP. So, you see, BGP attributes play a crucial role in path selection. They help BGP to be smarter, making decisions that optimize network performance and efficiency. By understanding these attributes, you can better predict BGP's behavior and even influence its path selection process to better serve your network needs. Understanding BGP attributes is key to mastering BGP path selection. BGP isn't the only routing protocol out there. How does it compare to others? We are at the heart of the debate between BGP and its counterparts, OSPF and eGROUP. One might wonder, why choose BGP, given its apparent complexity? Well, each protocol has its unique strengths and weaknesses, and BGP is no exception. Let's start with OSPF, an interior gateway protocol designed for use within a single autonomous system. It's a link state protocol, meaning it has an overall picture of the network topology. While OSPF is efficient and fast converging, it struggles with scalability in larger networks. And that's where BGP shines. BGP's path vector protocol 
allows it to handle an enormous number of routes, making it ideal for large networks spanning across multiple autonomous systems like the Internet. Yes, you heard it right. BGP is the protocol that makes the Internet work. Now, let's talk about eGARP, a Cisco proprietary protocol. eGARP is a hybrid protocol that combines the best of link state and distance vector protocols. It's efficient, fast, and easy to configure. However, being proprietary, it doesn't gel well in a multi-vendor environment. BGP, being an open standard protocol, doesn't have this limitation. Yet it's not all sunshine and rainbows for BGP. It's a complex protocol requiring significant configuration and is slower to converge than both OSPF and EIGARP. BGP's complexity arises from its rich set of attributes, which allows for a high degree of control over routing decisions, a double-edged sword, if you will. So, why use BGP despite its complexity? Well, it's all about scale and control. BGP's ability to handle a vast number of routes and its granular control over routing decisions makes it the go-to protocol for large-scale networks. In essence, the choice between BGP, OSPF, and eGRIP depends on the network scale, the level of control required, and the environment's compatibility. There's no one-size-fits-all answer here. BGP, with all its quirks, continues to be the protocol of choice for many network engineers. BGP isn't just theory, it has practical applications too. This powerful routing protocol is used extensively in the real world. It forms the backbone of the Internet, enabling data to travel across the globe in a matter of milliseconds. Internet service providers, or ISPs, are one of the most common users of BGP. They use this protocol to route data between different networks. Each ISP has its own network, and BGP allows them to communicate with each other, exchanging information about the best paths for data to travel. This ensures the most efficient route is always used, optimizing the performance of the Internet. But it's not just ISPs that benefit from BGP. Large organizations with multiple locations also use this protocol. With BGP, they can connect their different sites together, creating a unified network. This allows for seamless communication between different parts of the organization, no matter where in the world they are located. Data centers are another big user of BGP. These massive facilities host thousands of servers, each with its own network. BGP enables these networks to communicate with each other, ensuring data can travel quickly and efficiently between different parts of the data center. Now, let's look at some real-world examples. Consider a multinational corporation with offices in different continents. BGP allows their networks to communicate with each other, ensuring employees can access the resources they need, no matter their location. Or think about a streaming service like Netflix. They use BGP to ensure their content can reach viewers around the globe, optimizing the route to ensure the best possible streaming experience. In each of these cases, BGP is an essential tool, enabling efficient, reliable data transmission. It's a testament to the power and versatility of this protocol that it's used in such a wide range of applications, from ISPs to large corporations and data centers. BGP is a powerful tool in the hands of network engineers, enabling them to manage and optimize their networks. We've covered a lot of ground today. Let's summarize our key takeaways. In our grand tour of Border Gateway Protocol or BGP, we've unraveled the basics of this essential internet protocol. We've seen how BGP is the postman of the internet, delivering data packets from one network to another effectively making the internet a global network of networks. We delved into the nuances of external BGP and internal BGP or EBGP and IBGP respectively. We learned that EBGP is used for communication between different autonomous systems, while IBGP is used within the same autonomous system. This distinction is important because it affects how BGP updates are propagated and how routing decisions are made. Our exploration of BGP attributes gave us a peek into the decision-making process of BGP. We saw how these attributes, things like ASPATH, NextHop, and MED, 
are used by BGP to choose the best path for data packets. It's like BGP's very own GPS, guiding data packets through the labyrinth of the internet. A key part of our discussion was the comparison of BGP with other routing protocols. Unlike many other protocols, BGP is a path vector protocol and it uses TCP for reliable delivery of its messages. It's not just about the shortest path, but the best path. It's about making smart decisions, not quick ones. And that's what sets BGP apart from the rest. And finally, we looked at some practical applications of BGP. We saw how BGP can be used for things like load balancing, multi-homing and traffic engineering. These applications show us that BGP is not just a theoretical concept, but a practical tool that network engineers use every day to keep the internet running smoothly. In conclusion, BGP is a complex and robust protocol. It's like the conductor of an orchestra coordinating the flow of data across different networks to create the symphony that is the internet. It's not always straightforward and it can be challenging to understand. But once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's a beautiful system full of intricate details and clever mechanisms. So whether you're a network engineer looking to up your game or a tech enthusiast trying to understand how the internet works, knowing about BGP is invaluable. It's one of those foundational concepts that can help you make sense of the complex world of networking. BGP is a complex but fascinating protocol that's at the heart of how the internet works. Understanding it is a big step towards mastering networking